In this presentation, we will calculate federal income tax, FIT, using the percentage method. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. We currently have our payroll register here where we're focusing in on Pam, who's the bigger earner here and therefore the one that's going to need to be calculated with the percentage method rather than just using the tables. She's going to be married uh, for uh, allowances. She's got a salary pay, which is going to be this $3,653. This is a weekly pay. And that, of course, will be the total earnings. Our focus then here is on the FIT calculation. So we're looking for the FIT calculation. Uh, therefore, we're going to need to know what the FIT wages are, which could differ from this total wages. This is what she's getting paid. We'll typically be reduced by those types of things that could be reduced in, say, our 1040 adjusted gross income, things like a cafeteria plan or a retirement plan like a 401k. So if we say here that the cafeteria and retirement plan are these, numbers then we can say that um, her total earnings are going to be or the FIT earnings are going to be this 3,653 so we're going to say 3653.85 minus and then we have the uh, cafeteria and retirement plan of 280 minus 185 and that'll give us the 3,188.85 so that's 3,188.85 that we're going to basically be using here we're focusing in on this on this number on uh, Pam's wages because that's the one we're going to be focused in on for the FIT. So here we are at the uh, circular E. The circular E can be found on IRS.gov, the IRS website, IRS.gov, the circular E to get the most current tables. We need to go down to the tables to uh, calculate the payroll withholdings. These are not going to be the, the normal just tables that we can look up. They're going to be the uh, percentage calculations typically used if the wages are too high. For example, if we went and found this number in the tables, uh, we'd say, oh, the tables aren't big enough to find that number. And therefore, typically, that's when we would have to go to this method, the percentage method, in essence, calculating what um, the wages are going to be. Now, this is an important method to do, and it's, it's useful to do because we get a better understanding of what the progressive tax system is. What are these tiers doing? How complex is it to calculate uh, these taxes and why is it that format? So to do this, first we got to look at the, the table in the circular E to see what the allowance is. So we've, we need to know what pay period we're using. We're currently in weekly. And then we're going to say, okay, that's 779.80 is how much money per allowance that we get. So 79.80, once we have that, we can then take our federal income tax uh, pay. This is how much uh, we started with from our table. Uh, that's how much we earned after the retirement plan and the uh, cafeteria. Then we're going to calculate the allowances, which is going to be the 79.80 uh, that we just looked at, times the number of allowances, which for her is four, which is going to give us 79.80 times four, or 319 and 20 cents. Then we're going to take the FIT uh, wages minus the 319.20 for the allowances to give us this 2869.65. This then is the number we're going to use for our percentage uh, tables. So now we're back to the circular E and we're still in the percentage areas. This isn't like the tables where we would just look up uh, the number. Notice what we're going to have our, our calculations we'll have to do. We've got to find the right bracket. Uh, that this is in and then we'll have to calculate the top tier and add it to the tier below so let's see if we can kind of break this down and why this happens this is closer to us actually having to calculate what the tax is on a progressive system and remember it doesn't mean if we're say in this tax bracket that all of our money is taxed at 22 percent it means that some of it's taxed at 10 percent some of it's taxed at 12 percent some of it's taxed at 22 so it's just it's a it's the top portion that's taxed at 22 percent so we need to go through this whole thing and say, well, this much is taxed at 10% and this much is taxed at zero, this much is taxed at 12. And to do that, we can shortcut it a little bit by saying, uh, for example, we are in this bracket and that's going to be between uh, 1,711 and, one, and 3,395. That's the number we're using because this falls in between there. 
And so we can basically say that this number up to the bottom level of 1,711 has already been calculated. We can calculate that on the table. A table can give us that because that's a set point in time. It knows exactly where that is. It can't give us the number of tax at the highest bracket because it's somewhere between here. So we'll have to figure out what that is because uh, it's we don't the table obviously doesn't know exactly what that how much is going to be taxed at 22 percent, but it knows exactly how much is taxed at 10 percent and how much is taxed at 12 percent. So we can take that floor number and the table can just give us this 17136, which is in essence the amount taxed at either 0, 10, or 12 percent. So we have we have that, and then we just need to figure out how much is going to be taxed at the 22 percent. To do that, we're going to take our number 2869 minus the floor number, typically, the bottom number, which they give us over here, excess over 1,711. The difference then will be taxed at the 22%, the highest tax bracket. And then we add to it the 17136, which is the table already calculating the tax on the 1,711, the floor, which is the 10% and 12% brackets that we don't need to recalculate because the table can give us those. So. It looks basically like this. We've got the federal income tax uh, here, and then this this is our tax, our taxable wages. And then we've got the lower limit of, on the table, this number, this number, and that will give us the amount to be taxed at the highest bracket. So we subtract these out. That's the amount at the highest rate, which is 22%. So the amount taxed at the highest rate times 22 gives us $254.90. Then we add to it the 171 given to us by the table, which is in essence the tax on the lower portion. And if we add those together, we get 426.26, um, 426, which is going to be our withholding amount. So this is basically the full breakout that we'll take from the table. It's, it's nice if, to have a format like this. You can kind of uh, uh, think through it if, if you do it a few times. If you have some of these calculations and you, and you set the, the table up, then you can go through and just fill out uh, the, the format of the calculation and fill out what's the appropriate amount, what's the appropriate table that you're looking at. Just make sure you're picking up the correct table. Ours was for weekly, if you're bi-weekly, semi-weekly, uh, or um, semi-monthly, uh, or monthly, another table, and make sure we're picking up the single versus the married side of it. So then we can basically use all that in order to fill out our number here in our FIT federal income tax withholdings. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.